Y'all ran up to the Greenwich Village Comedy Club once. Yeah. Marco, you're welcome. I always test out a batch before I send them out. <laughs> if y'all look for that top shelf, just give me a holler. <laughs> now I appreciate y'all letting me come out here and do this. I've been in a really dark place lately. You know, but I'm about to pay the electric bill, so. <laughs> Since we got fellas in the house, I'm going to tell you all about some romance. A little bit of romance. Never, ever, ever tell a gal that she will always be a seven in your eyes. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Especially if you meant a five, you know what I mean? Honest is the best policy. We'll stick to the romance. Y'all like poetry? You know? Sometimes. Roses are red, violets are purple. It's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I rear-ended this girl. She took it like a champ. We were both pretty happy. <laughs> oh, a little backdoor action. <laughs> People always ask me why I don't have any kids. They say, why ain't you got no kids? I tell them I've been filling up belly buttons since 1989. <laughs> you know, even little kitty pools in there. <laughs> <laughs> Louis C.K. Y'all you know this fella, Lee Louis C.K. This guy's got nine lives, doesn't he? No matter what life challenges are thrown in front of him, he just keeps beating it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of playing with your pecker, did you hear out in Texas they're trying to pass a legislation? A hundred dollar fine for masturbating. Marco's 300 bucks since we started tonight. <laughs> Fucking and rubbing them out under there, I see you. <laughs> you know, recently I've been excommunicated from the Amish. <laughs> 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 you know, they got mad I was treating every day like Rump Springer. <laughs> well, I was treating more like Hump Springer. You know, I, mean, I was just breaking it off in bitches. They got mad to like, get your ass out of here. They call me Jebba Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was little, I heard there was going to be a WNBA. I was like, oh, cool, to finally let the white guys play. Any <laughs> 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 y'all ever get the humping a gal? That's so far out of your league, you just start reciting every line of Forrest Gump. You know what I mean? Trying to hold that nut as long as you can. Like there's shrimp and potatoes, there's a shrimp scampi, here's the lemon shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> shrimp cocktail. You can't say it. Now you just nut it. You can't say cocktail, I'll fuck you. <laughs> I didn't last but eight seconds. You know, I tried to save the day. I was like, I just felt like coming. <laughs> I kept coming and coming. When I was little, I always thought that my dad was trying to declare some more. Turns out he was just a pothead looking for a lighter. <laughs> Got a Got a light. Got a light. You say, you want some? I thought he was talking shit. You want some? I'm about to hit this. Yeah, daddy, kick his ass. <laughs> and y'all hear about this John Wayne controversy? John Wayne. 
He said some bullshit in a Playboy magazine about 48 years ago. It's got everybody pissed off. <laughs> They're mad as hell. <laughs> they want to change the name of the airport. You know, I mean, leave it up to this generation to actually open up a Playboy for the articles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the titties. <laughs> Just look at the titties. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know Pete Davidson, you know this guy, Pete Davidson? Holy shit. He's giving hope to every four in America. (laughs) (laughs) Every four said, you know what, I can be somebody. (laughs) I think if Pete Davidson can get Ariana Grande and Kate Beckinsale, I gotta be worth at least a duchess. (laughs) Gotta be. No, I'm just playing. I'm jealous of that guy, man. He must be swinging a cinder block. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. Be good. Yeah.